and exhale all the way out. Good. On your next inhale, I want you to take those feet a little bit farther apart from each other. And I want you to begin to windshield wiper your legs from left to right. Feel as those ankles begin to move from side to side, roll onto the inside and the outside of your feet, stretching through the outside of the ankles, the inside of the ankles. Take your knees over to the right, rest them on the floor, hold them here for a breath. Inhale, bring it back to center and over to the left, rest it here. Again, inhale to center over to the right and hold it. Inhale back to center over to the left and hold it. And then go ahead and go back to your own preference, windshield wipering from side to side. And maybe you choose to keep those feet far apart from each other. Maybe you choose to bring those feet a little bit closer to each other. Notice the difference in the sensations as you rock your legs from side to side, depending on where your feet are. One might feel better to your body than the other, or you might even wanna take your feet farther than the edges of your mat so that they're really far apart from each other and windshield wiper them from side to side. It's all gonna be dependent on where your pelvis is at, your knees, or I'm sorry, your hips, and well, I guess, and your knees. Let's go two more times, one more to each side. And then let's bring it back together. We're going to take the bottoms of the feet together and let those knees drop open wide. If your low back is arching off of the mats considerably, you're going to want to slide those feet out away from your body. If you need a little bit more stretch and your low back is in a neutral position, you can bring your feet just a little bit closer. And also, other thing, if you have blocks, you may want to place blocks under your knees for a little bit more support. All just options, whatever works best for your body. And do a little bit of, we're working a little bit more with pranayama lately. So we're going to, which is breath work. So we're going to work with a little bit of breath retention now in this pose. So with breath retention for today, we were just going to hold our breath on the between the inhale and the exhale. So how this looks is you're gonna inhale, take a big breath in. At the very top of your inhale, you're just gonna pause. You're gonna just pause in that, that nothingness for a moment. Hold your breath and then slowly exhale and release it out. So you don't want any panic. There's no panic here, okay? We're inhaling, holding that breath at the top, and then exhaling all the way out. And let's continue that. Inhale, fill up. Get a really good inhale here. Pause at the top, keeping that retention, keeping all of that expansion and then exhale all the way out. Two more times, inhale, pause at the top, exhale all the way out. And last one, inhale, pause at the top, and then on your next exhale, slide your right leg long out in front of you. Reach your arms up overhead and come into 
tree pose, trikonasana, balancing on the floor. Actively flex that right foot, reach those arms up overhead and engage those glutes, squeeze those glutes. Exhale, bring your arms to your sides, pull your right foot back into your left foot. And then inhale, take that left leg long, arms up overhead, tree pose. I think I said tree kanasana, which is not tree pose, that's triangle pose. <laughs> tree pose on the other side. Flex that left foot. This time, as you exhale, bring your arms down to your sides, but take that right leg long also. Point and flex your feet just a couple of times. Point and flex, point and flex. And then you're gonna roll over to one side, lay on one side, just take a big stretch. So roll over into the fetal position and just take a big stretch. Take your top leg long and the arm long and just stretch it out. Good, and then log roll back onto your back and onto your other side and stretch it out. Good. Beautiful. Then bring it all the way back to center. Bring your arms to your sides, your knees bent, feet flat to the floor. Heather's dog is doing an excellent yoga practice this morning. <laughs> arms down to your sides. Inhale up to bridge pose. Plant those feet. Press those heels into the earth. Press forward with those knees. Inhale up to bridge. Walk your shoulders underneath you a little bit, elongate through your neck. Find some lift in your body. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, start at the base of your neck and slowly release your spine all the way to the floor, as if you were trying to reach your tailbone to your heels. Good, keep those arms planted. Inhale, roll back up to your bridge pose. Press those heels into the earth, press those knees forward. Go ahead and gauge your glutes at the top of this one, long through the back of the neck. Good, start at the base of your neck and slowly roll yourself down one vertebra at a time as if you're trying to touch your heels with your tailbone. Good. This next time, really try to keep your glutes as relaxed as you possibly can. Press your feet into the floor. Inhale, rise up to bridge pose. Keep those glutes relaxed and soft. Shake them out a little bit here. Do a little shake. A little shake. Make sure those glutes are relaxed. Uh, beautiful. And then exhale, lower all the way down. One vertebra at a time. Once the tailbone reaches the floor, hug your right knee into your chest and take that left leg long on your mat, flexing both feet. Holding it right here, just keeping both feet flexed and active. Keep that left leg as long as you can. Really reach through those heels. Big breath in and exhale, switch. Pull your left knee into your chest and take your right leg long. Both feet are flexed and active, pointing those toes up to the ceiling, finding length in the body, long through the back of the neck. Good, taking your time, let's do that again. On your next exhale, switch, right knee comes in, left leg goes long. We're not doing this quickly, mindfully, okay? Mindfully, good. And then again, next exhale and switch. Pull that left knee in and take that right leg long. Beautiful. On your next exhale, keep a hold of that left knee and draw your right knee also into your chest. And take a moment to feel the length of your spine. This is one of my favorites. Okay, so I want you to take and bring that chin just a little bit closer to your chest and you can feel that spine, back of your neck, upper back, mid back, all the way down to your tailbone. Draw that tailbone a little bit closer to the floor. Find that length in the back side of your body. Take a big breath in here. And then take your right arm out to the side and let's twist those legs over to the left. 
Keep your feet flexed and active. Put your left hand on top of your legs for a little bit of weight and support. Maybe even draw those knees up a little bit closer to your chest. We're going to inhale, lift our head slightly up off of the mat and turn our gaze over to our right hand and lay our head back down on the floor. Breathe. Inhale, we're gonna do this in pieces. Bring your gaze to look straight back up to the ceiling. Keep your feet connected to the earth and bring your knees back so that they're pointing up to the ceiling. And then as you exhale, hug your knees into your chest and wrap your hands back around your legs. Long through your spine, flex your feet, big breath in. And then let's go ahead and take that left arm out to the side and twist your knees over to the right. Keep your feet flexed. Bring your right hand on top of your legs for a little bit of added weight and pull those knees up towards your ribs just a tiny bit. Inhale, lift your head slightly up off of the floor and bring that gaze over to the left and lay that head back down. Soften your shoulders to the mat. Breathe right here. Good. On that next inhale, we're going to do something a little bit different. I want you to bring your gaze over to the right. Roll yourself all the way over onto your right side and then gently press yourself into up to all fours. So you're gonna probably have to crawl your way back onto your mat. Come onto all fours, come onto hands and knees. Good, on your next inhale, take it to cow pose. And on your next exhale, take it to cat. We'll do five rounds. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. So there's two. We got three more. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Last round. Inhale, cow, hold your cow for me. Reach that tailbone up to the ceiling. Let your belly drop. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Lift your head. Good, exhale, take it to cat. Start at your tailbone and wave your way to your cat. Pull your belly button in, drop your head. Actively press the heels of your hands into the earth. Awesome, inhale, take it to neutral spine. Shake out your wrists a little if you need to. And then on that next inhale, let's take that left leg long and back behind you. We're heading to balancing table. We'll lift that leg up off of the floor and take that right leg straight out, or right, right leg. To, let's take both legs. I want you to balance just on your arms. Take both legs straight back behind you. <laughs> just kidding. Take that right arm out in front of you. Actively flex your left foot Please, and engage that left glute a little bit. Draw your low belly in. See if you can bring your head up just slightly and line up bicep and ear. That looks good. Yes, exhale and release. Excellent alignment, gorgeous. Inhale, right leg comes back, reaches straight out of your glute. Actively flex your foot, reach through that heel. And then your left arm comes out in front of you, belly drawn in. So we are in balancing table, which means that our back is still in a tabletop position. So we're not opening the hip. We're not trying to roll to one side. You're trying to keep yourself as flat as you can. Good, exhale and release. 
Now we're gonna flow and we're gonna flow from side to side. Normally I have you stay on one side, but today we're gonna flow side to side. So please be mindful of the transitions between each side. So inhale, right leg back behind you, left arm out in front. Right leg back behind you, left arm out in front. That's your inhale, exhale and release. Inhale, left leg back behind you, right arm out in front. Exhale and release. So I want you to try really hard to do one movement per breath, make it flow together the best that you can and move slowly, being kind and gentle to your joints as you move from side to side. Remember to flex your foot and really reach those fingers long out in front of you. Belly pulled in tight. Good, flowing from side to side. A couple more times. Taking your time, really paying attention to how your body is moving between each side. One more to each side. Good, and once you've done one more side, this is it, last side. Go ahead and release big toes touching, knees spread wide, press back to child's pose. And breathe. <clears throat> Wiggle those glutes a little bit from side to side. Check in with the tops of your ankles and your knees. Allow your head to hang heavy. Maybe rock your head a little bit on the earth side to side. Take a big deep breath in. Fill up low belly, lungs, and chest. And this time, open mouth, really actively sigh it out. And again, inhale. And open mouth, sigh it out. Good, inhale, come back to all fours. Knees underneath you. Wrists under your shoulders. This time we're gonna stay with one side. Okay, so bring yourself into your tabletop position. Fingers spread wide. Inhale, right leg comes back. Left arm reaches out in front. Exhale, knee and elbow come towards each other underneath you. Inhale, reach it long. Remember to flex your foot every time. Really engage that right glute. Exhale, bring it underneath you. Inhale, long. Try to move as slow as you can. Exhale, underneath you. Really control your breath. Inhale, take it long. Couple more. Exhale. And inhale. Last one. Exhale. And inhale, hold it here. And then exhale and release. Good, right into that other side. Left leg goes back, right arm reaches out in front. Low belly pulled in. Exhale, knee and elbow come towards each other underneath you. Inhale long, actively flex your left foot. Exhale. And inhale, working your breath is moving your body. Your body is not moving your breath. Your breath is moving your body. Last one. Hold it. And then exhale and release. Shake it out a little bit. Shake out those hips and those wrists. And then fingers spread wide, toes curled under, exhale up and back, downward facing dog. 
Take a big breath here. Exhale all the way out. One more time, big breath here. And as you exhale, release your knees to the earth again. Lots of stuff on the knees today, okay? Fingers spread wide. Bring those knees together. We're gonna do a little bit of some yogic push-ups. So take that right leg back behind you. Pull your elbows in tight. Reach your body way forward. Try to touch your nose to the earth. And then inhale, press yourself back up. Exhale, come forward, pull those elbows into your ribs, try to touch your nose to the earth. Inhale, press back up. Those triceps should be burning. Couple more times. Two more. Last one. Good, release that right knee to the earth. Inhale your right arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, thread your right arm under your body all the way over to the left, coming onto your shoulder and the side of your head. Shift your weight back into your left knee a little bit. Let your head rest. Let your shoulders rest. Allow your eyes to close. Let's take three more breaths right here. On your next inhale, press into that left hand, slide that right arm out from underneath you, bring it all the way back up to the ceiling, and then exhale it down to the floor. Bring those knees back together, take your left leg out and behind you now, actively point your left toes, pull those elbows in, reach that nose forward, try to touch the floor with your nose, and inhale, press it back up. Exhale, do it again. Inhale up. Three more. Pull those elbows in tight. Really try to get this action to be in your triceps. Couple more. One more. Woo! Inhale, come back up. Release that left knee on the exhale. Inhale, left arm reaches up to the ceiling. Exhale, thread your needle. Left arm comes underneath you over to the right. Lower down onto your shoulder and the side of your head. Bring weight back into that right knee. Allow your head to relax, your shoulder to relax, your neck to relax. Close your eyes, we'll take three breaths right here. Good. On that next inhale, press your right hand into the earth, slide that left arm out from underneath, you reach it all the way back up to the ceiling. And then exhale, bring it to all fours. Fingers spread wide, toes curled under. Exhale up and back, downward facing dog again. Beautiful. On your next inhale, take yourself forward to plank pose. And then go ahead and leave your hands and your feet right here. So you don't need to transfer your hands and your feet back and forth, just leave them here. Exhale up and back to downward facing dog without walking your hands and your feet at all. Okay, inhale, lift high on the balls of the feet and roll yourself forward to plank. Yeah, good. Exhale up and back downward facing dog. 
Two more of these, high on the balls of your foot, roll yourself forward to plank. Exhale, up and back, downward facing dog. Yes, last one. Take it forward to your plank, hold your plank. Press back through those heels a little bit, pull your low belly in. Go ahead and puff up through the backs of your shoulders a tiny bit as if you were in a cat pose. Hold it. You got this strength. Big deep breath here. And then exhale, lower your knees to the earth and gently lower your entire body to the earth, laying yourself flat on your belly. Good. Reach that left arm out long away from you. And then roll yourself towards that left arm, rolling onto that left side of your body, pulling your knees up into your belly and resting your head on the floor. And we'll hold this for about 45 seconds. So find the stretch that works the best for you and breathe here. Let your breath just be easy. Let the stretch be a little passive. You're curious about the sensations that are happening in your neck. Maybe you want to take your neck a little bit longer. Stretch that arm a little bit farther. Two more breaths right here. And then on your next exhale, roll yourself over onto your belly. Take that right arm long away from your body and roll yourself over onto your right side. Bending your knees, bringing your knees closer to your belly button. Remembering all of the options of lifting one leg and pointing the knee up to the ceiling, reaching the top arm back behind you. There are a ton of options. I, please just take the one that works best for your body. Find your breath. Breathing. Inhaling and exhaling, lots of oxygen circulating through your bloodstream this morning. Waking your body up, healing those cells. And on your next exhale, slowly begin to release yourself back onto your belly. We're gonna bring our hands under our forehead. So you're gonna bend your elbows, stack your left hand on top of your right and bring those hands under your forehead. Zip those legs up tight together as if somebody's put straps to keep your legs together. Big toes touching on your next inhale. Lift everything up off of your yoga mat that you can. <laughs> legs arms, chest, head, engage those glutes, exhale lower. Good, inhale and lift. Keep your forehead and your hands glued to each other, exhale and lower. Good. Inhale and lift. Squeeze those big toes together. Exhale and lower. Two more with our hands in this position. Inhale and lift. 
Squeeze the back side of your body. Squeeze everything into the middle. Exhale, lower. Last one here. Inhale and lift. Squeeze those big toes together. Lift those knees. Squeeze those glutes. Lift those arms and that head. Good. Exhale and lower. Take your arms to your sides and your left ear to your mat. Give yourself a moment of pause right here. And on that next inhale, let's bring those hands back under our forehead. This time the right arm is, or right hand is on top of the left hand. We got five more when you're ready. Inhale, lift, squeeze those legs together, big toes touching, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Three more. Try to keep those legs as straight as you can. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last two. Inhale, lift and squeeze everything into center. Exhale, lower. Last one, inhale and lift, engage and squeeze. Find your best one yet. And then exhale, release arms to your sides, right ear to the mat and breathe here. Allow your eyes to close, allow your body to be heavy for these next few moments. Take one more breath. Then on your next inhale, slide your hands under your shoulders. Begin to press yourself up to all fours and eventually back to downward facing dog. Fingers spread wide, toes curled under. Take the insides of your elbows and point them towards the front of your mat just a little bit more. Find some lift in those glutes. Draw your belly towards your sternum, towards your chest. Let your head hang heavy. Take three breaths, just holding this downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, open mouth side out. Inhale. Exhale, open mouth side out. One more time, big breath in. Exhale, open mouth side out. Release your knees back down to the earth and find your way back onto your back. Onto your back. Once you bring yourself onto our backs, we're gonna work with a little bit more core work. So you're gonna lay down. Bend your knees and flex your feet. Make sure your low back connects to the earth. And just reach your arms up to the ceiling. Keep your shoulders in contact with your yoga mat. Okay, my knees are at a 90 degree angle. My feet are flexed. Arms reaching up to the ceiling. I think that's about all you can see in the screen. But we're just gonna hold it right here. Keep your core really strong and tight. Pull your belly button to your spine and your spine to the floor. Hold it right here and breathe. Find that focus. Make sure your hips are squared up. Breathe deep. If you want a little bit of an extra challenge, you can grab your block and put it in between your knees and hold that right there. If you want extra, extra challenge, you can grab your block and bring one in between your knees and in between your hands also. We're almost there. We got about 10 more seconds. Breathe deep. Pull that low belly in tight. You got it.
Good, and then exhale, release. If you have a block in between your knees, go ahead and release it. Woo! And windshield wipe with those legs a couple of times left to right. Good, one more time. Awesome, bring it back to center. And I know, I think all of you guys have a block, so go ahead and put it in between your knees. Okay. Inhale, arms up overhead. As you exhale, reach up and grab the block from out between your knees. And inhale it up overhead. Exhale, bring that block back in between your knees. And inhale your empty hands up overhead. Exhale, reach up and grab that block. Take it out from in between your knees. Inhale, take that block up overhead. Exhale, bring your block in between your knees. Inhale, take your arms up overhead. You guys got it. Let's do some more of those. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Two more rounds. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Good, Woo. take that block out and gently windshield wiper those knees from left to right a couple of times. Oh, all right. Next one, let's take and pull that right knee in and take your block onto your right thigh and your right elbow is going to grab a hold of that block. Okay, hold it right here. Go ahead and bring your head back to the earth. We're going to do something a little bit different. Inhale your left arm up overhead and your left leg to the ceiling. Exhale, pull your left knee and your left elbow towards each other. And then inhale, take it long again. This whole time you won't let go of that block and your thigh. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, take it long. Two more. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, take it long. Last one. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, take it long, Woo. release the block, and release your body down. Oh, big breath in, rest for a moment, but just a moment, and let's take it to the other side. Block on that left thigh and that left elbow. Right leg up to the ceiling, right arm up overhead. Good, exhale. Right knee, right elbow. Inhale, take it long. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, take it long. Two more times. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, long. Woo, last one, knee and elbow. Yes, and inhale, take it long. Yay, take that block, release it out to the side. 
Oh, grab your knees and rock it from left to right. Nice work, you guys. Nice work. Okay. One more. Let's go ahead and bring the bottoms of the feet, knees spread wide. Hands can be down to your sides or on your belly, wherever you find it the most comfortable. Actively push those feet together. Knees are open. Inhale, lift your butt up off of the floor. So we're like in a reverse bridge pose. I don't know if you can see me. Let me see if I can move it down a little bit. Okay, and lower down. So if you can see, it doesn't help that I wear black pants and a black mat, but I'm trying to take my knees as wide open as I can, bottoms of feet together, I'm gonna move my hands all the way, and lift. Good, lower your butt to the floor. Take your feet up off of the mat. Lower your feet back to the floor. Yes. Lift your butt up off of the mat. This is great for those hip flexors, okay? This is great if you have to sit all day. Lower your butt to the mat. Lift your feet up off of the floor. Good, lower your feet to the mat. Push those knees out farther than you have and inhale and lift. Let's hold it right here. Take one more breath and then exhale slowly lower. Bring those knees up, cross, look at my leg, cross that right leg all the way over the left as far as it'll go and then release them all the way over to the left. They can come apart from each other. They can slide apart. They can do whatever organically happens. And then take your right arm into a cactus arm. Right arm into a cactus arm. And see if you can get your right foot to make contact with the floor. Knees bent. Bend your knees as much as you possibly can. Gaze up to the ceiling, or you can just close your eyes. We'll take a few breaths right here. And on your next inhale, begin to bring those legs back to center. We're going to reach up, however, grab a hold of your right knee. I want you to pull it towards your left shoulder. Pull it towards your left shoulder. Good, and then exhale, go ahead and release your right foot to the floor. Cross your left leg all the way over your right as if you're sitting, you know, as if how you sit in a chair. Okay, your left arm will come into a cactus arm at some point, and I want you to release those knees all the way over to the right. Woo. And just as my body reminded me, let me remind you, one side could possibly be tighter than the other. You might want to use a block under your foot or under your knee for a little bit of support, under your calf even. You know, one thing I have noticed about props, and I know you guys are accustomed to them and you use them and you have no problem, but I really have truly realized that blocks and props actually allow you to go deeper into a pose or into a stretch than you would if you didn't have that prop. 
it gives you your body that safety to allow yourself to release into that pose. So even just now, as I'm in my twist, I notice for myself, I'm kind of holding and fighting because it hurts a little bit and it's tight. But the minute I put that block under my leg, it was like my body went, oh, okay. And it allowed myself to relax into the twist, whereas prior I hadn't. So don't ever think, and I know you guys don't, but I just want to reiterate, don't ever think of those blocks as anything other than a tool to help your body release into or move into something deeper than you had prior. And then on that next inhale, bring it back to center. Wrap your hands around your left knee and pull that left knee towards your right shoulder. This is a piriformis stretch, that sitting muscle. You wanna just give it a little bit of a stretch and a little bit of love. So pull that left knee over towards your right shoulder. Take one more big deep breath. And then exhale, place your left foot to the earth. Grab a hold of your block or blocks, lift your hips up off of the floor and place your block under your sacrum into supported bridge pose. We wanna turn this into a restorative pose though, so keep that block at the first or second level and then let's take those feet up to the ceiling and and do your thing point and flex take those legs wide circle your ankles around i'd like for us to try to stay here for a minute if we can maybe even a little bit longer so have some grace with your body be soft in your body make sure that that block is exactly where you like it don't be afraid to move it around and shift it Walk your shoulders away from your ears. Maybe close your eyes. Giving your body permission to rest and to restore. If your joints are holding any extra fluid, this is a wonderful pose to get some of that fluid to drain. That lymphatic fluid sometimes won't drain on its own. We gotta give it a little bit of help. This is a great way to help it. If you could do one yoga pose every single day, I would say it would be legs up the wall. Finding your breath. Remembering that every pose we do and every breath we take is to help increase the quality of our life, the length of our life. Learning that breath retention Learning to breathe deep helps us to live a longer life. Moving our body, stretching and opening helps us to live with much more quality. Maybe a tiny bit less pain, a little bit more peace of mind, a little bit more quiet when times are troubled. Also teaches us to really trust ourselves. Slowly begin to take one foot to the earth and the other foot to the earth. 
Inhale, lift your hips up and slide that block underneath, out from underneath you. And as you lower, start at the base of your spine and lower all the way down one vertebra at a time. Take those legs long and reach those arms up overhead, full body stretch. Wiggle and move and stretch and release that body. Stretch that right arm a little bit more than the left. Stretch your left arm a little bit more than the right. And then bring your arms down to your sides. And roll your head over onto that right ear. So you're just gonna kind of roll your head over to the right. I don't need you to pick it up or anything, just kind of roll it. And then roll it back to center and over to the left and then bring it back to center. Shake out those legs a little bit. Go ahead and just shake them. Shake, 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 however it works for you. Shake, shake, shake. And then let those legs release. And then shake your arm, shake your hand, shake your wrist, shake your forearm, shake your shoulder, shake, shake, shake. Get all that energy all jumbled up. Get it moving. And release. Good, shoulders spread wide, collarbones spread wide, heart wide open, legs relaxed, taking up your space on the mat. Allowing your breath to be easy. Not asking or expecting anything of your breath. Gonna be passive. Begin to deepen your breath. Filling your belly, your lungs, and your chest with oxygen. Thinking about your breath, noticing how it moves, how it feels. Slowly begin to wiggle your toes, start to move your fingers. Find some movement back in your body, waking up your body, telling it, okay, time to face the day. 
stretch and move however you need to with the intention of finding your way over onto your side into the fetal position. in your body from the bottom of your feet to the top of your head. Taking some extra breaths into those places that are tense or tight. And slowly begin to open your eyes, let the light in. And gently begin to press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Sitting up tall, find some movement on the head, the neck, and the shoulders. Let's go ahead and sit up tall here for just a moment. Rest your hands on your knees. And you can close your eyes again or you can just find a place to rest your gaze. I want you to just take a moment. Truly feel your body in this present moment. In your head, with wholehearted gratitude, as if you're talking to an amazing friend that just gave you a beautiful gift, yet you're saying it to yourself and to your body, I want you to say thank you. Thank you. No matter what judgments or criticism <clears throat> that we have of ourselves, falsely, I believe, <laughs> our bodies are an amazing gift. They have carried us this far. They've allowed us to hold someone else, to move from point A to point B, to see beautiful things, to hear the sound of laughter. What more can you ask for? Whether we think we're too wide or too thin or too tall or too short, these are just our own personal judgments in our head that maybe it's time to slowly begin to let go of one piece at a time and recognize the amazing instruments that are our miraculous bodies. So take another big deep breath in, tell it thank you one more time. Even if you don't believe it, it will hear you. Tell it thank you. Palms together to heart center. Thank you. Namaste. Have a fabulous Wednesday. I'm saying Wednesday because I never remember what day it is. <laughs> but it's, I asked Jay three times last night, what day is it? <laughs> Within about 10 minutes apart of each other. So today, Friends, is Wednesday. You're welcome. I think it's Wednesday, right? It's Wednesday? All day. All day? That doesn't matter. In my mind, it doesn't matter. In my mind, it's like four days. <laughs> Wednesday. That was a great Wednesday. class, Jamie. Good. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I started my class with an intention because I feel like such a buffoon. That's the word I've been. I told myself I was going to try to have more of a graceful class. So I really focused on being a little bit more softer and graceful. It kind of worked. Yeah. I wasn't as strong as all of you fine people, but I tried to be smoother. I like that. I'm a fan of that. Good. Um, okay. So um, next.